Hi, it's Stuart. Um, I wanted to talk on this video about um, meditation and mindfulness. Um, two things that you may have practiced in an, an effort to try and lessen the symptoms of your depression or anxiety. Um, and my experiences of these as well and how um, they've helped me to a certain extent um, in trying to sort of battle against uh, these two illness illnesses. Um, so I guess certainly uh, mindfulness I found incredibly helpful um, in the fact that it, in my belief mindfulness is the fact that you put your concentration on something else for a period of time. It may only be in a short period of time but for instance um, going outside and just stopping and looking around at the trees and, the, and hearing uh, the leaves rustling the trees and smelling the smells that are out there, even if it's only for 10 seconds. While you're doing this, it's impossible to think about anything else, to think about the things that are maybe giving you anxiety, to think about the symptoms of your depression and the horrible feelings that you've got. And it does give you some relief. And if you can get into a regular habit of practicing this, can be about anything. Just trying to be there in the moment, not trying to think about the past and not trying to think about and preempt what might happen in the future, what you're expecting to happen. Just try and be there a little bit and appreciate what is going on around you. So certainly I've tried to practice that more and more uh, over the last couple of years particularly. And I've found that it's really helped me. So give it a try and just try and appreciate the present a little bit more. With regards to meditation, Personally, I find this really, really difficult and it is something that you do have to practice. But again, once you get into a little bit of a, a run of practicing this, it does start to become easier. Uh, a good way of starting, I found, if you go onto YouTube and search for one moment medi meditation, you'll find this uh, cute little uh, cartoon guy, uh, uh, a black and white cartoon guy. Uh, and he kind of takes you through uh, this meditation procedure. And this is only for one minute. And the guy who runs the site um, uh, says that if you practice this, you can drift yourself away for one minute. And sometimes it's all that you will need. And I found it really good to start because trying to clear your mind in sitting down is incredibly difficult. And your mind does drift and you have to keep bringing it back. But if you've only got a minute, it's not a huge amount of time. And it's a great way of building up your practice uh, for, for meditation. Um, and, and the guy on the site, the idea is, he says, that you can just shut yourself off for 30 seconds in a supermarket queue once you get good at doing this particular thing, which again is fantastic in the busy world that's around you if you are able to do that. Um, second app I've used um, is something called Headspace. A lot of you will have, uh, I'm sure, gone on to this. The guy who um, does uh, the, the, uh, the various uh, sessions on here has got an incredibly relaxing voice. Um, but again, you do need to practice and you do need to do this regularly. And if you find it helps you, it's worth the investment of buying uh, future developments of the app, which get into uh, the process of meditation a little bit more in a concentrated way. So uh, for me, sometimes I found it's helped, sometimes not. I probably haven't concentrated too much and practiced enough on it, but it's out there. And if it works for you, do it, because as we know, anything that can help allay some of our symptoms is a wonderful thing. So I hope you're having a good day and uh, I will see you all again soon.